The great search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thank you, DigiKey. Every single week, Lady Ada, user powered engineer, and help you, yes, you find things on digikey.com. Lady Ada, what are you searching for this week? Okay. So this week, um, I was actually working on this SHT45 Trinky. So this is a board that has a USB plug and at 7021, and then a temperature humidity sensor and a little NeoPixel. And the idea is that you know, it's it's running CircuitPython or Arduino, and it's like reprogrammable. But when you plug it in, it just immediately gives you temperature and humidity data. And people love the SHG45. It's a it's a fairly good precision, a fairly good accuracy. I think it's like two percent uh, humidity accurate and like 0. 0.5 degrees centigrade temperature sensor, which is pretty good. Um, you just plug it in, and, and you're ready to go. And I actually have the prototypes. We can go over the, to the overhead real fast again, and I can I can show this. So. Um, this is the, the prototype. So I already built this, um, the idea is just a reset button. You just plug this right into your port and you have a little capacitive touch sensor here if you want. Uh, but other than that, it pretty much just gives you temperature and humidity data. And, um, this chip runs cool enough. And as long as the NeoPixel isn't on full blast, uh, this shouldn't have too much self-heating. Um, and, uh, it just comes in a two millimeter thick PCB, a little thicker than usual. Let's see, compared to, uh, to this PCB, you can see it's a little bit thicker. Uh, so that it uh, goes into a USB uh, slot and it it sticks nicely. It has it's not as nice as 2.4 millimeter, but that wasn't available for the prototype PCBs. So, um, but as I was doing this, I was like, oh, you know, it's been a long time since I looked at what available temperature and humidity sensors are on DigiKey. Uh, during the part shortage, of course, a lot of parts got discontinued or changed or were unavailable. Um, but I'm actually glad I did, uh, and I'll kind of show you how I searched for this because uh, there's some kind of new interesting sensors that have been released um, and are available now. So what we want is, uh, let's go to the computer again. Um, so in this case, I happen to, you know, already place this part, but, you know, I might do another run. Uh, I have, you know, I, I stock this component, and so it's like easy to, to pick the SHT4 series. Um, I want something that can run on three volts and is I squared C. So I don't want an analog, you know, output sensor. I want uh, digital only. So let's go to DigiKey and look for humidity sensor. So the reason I'm not looking for humidity and temperature is like every sensor has temperature. Like that's really not a special thing. Um, humidity sensing is done by like measuring capacitance change of this exposed capacitor. As it gets damper, like the capacitance changes. Uh, so, uh, you know, a, a digital sensor will handle all of the calibration for you. Um, I know people use like the low cost, like DHT11 sensors. You can even open, open them up and see that there's, a, you know, this capacitor inside. But those are like very uh, low accuracy, uh, low precision, but also low cost. So we want something a little bit nicer. So let's look for an active sensor. Um, all of these candle humidity, so that's not an issue. Um, look at the voltage supply later. We'll want surface mount, um, but I'll pick up also the dash in case um, that doesn't uh, include some surface mount parts. And then I want it to be normally stocking. And just to make it a little easier, I'm not going to show the marketplace products because I just want to see what's at, for stock at sale at DigiKey directly. Um, okay, there's actually quite a few sensors. A lot of these are familiar. Um, but while I'm here, I want to change the output type to be I squared C. I'm also going to pick up digital in case like that also means I squared C. And then I'll pick up SPI as well. But I definitely don't want like just pure analog or PWM or just SPI. Although to be honest, there's not that many sensors like that. And then next up, um, you know, I did say I wanted one that would run at 3.3 volts, which is actually kind of like almost all of these fellows here this is like the only one that isn't so i'll skip that one the rest work at 3.3 volts and then so the thing basically you know if you sort by let's just put in you know 500 for the quantity so you get like a quote at like a half real if you look at pricing basically what you're going to pay for is uh speed 
and accuracy. So uh, the SHT40 is like a pretty good sensor, um, about 2% relative humidity. And I was like, oh, you know, like the SHT45, if you look, so like there's definitely, you know, plus or minus 3%. Um, as well, the SHT4A, which I guess is like a lower accuracy. Although, you know, the SHT40 is very inexpensive. And I love the SHT40, don't get me wrong. It's actually a really good sensor. Um, but let's say we wanted no worse than 2% for... The temperature sensor is always going to be very good, but the humidity sensor is where you... Um, uh, and I want, you know, fast response time. I definitely want 30 seconds. I think 8 seconds at the most. <clears throat> um, so yeah, the SHT30 and the SHT, sorry, the SHT40 and the SHTC3 are both good. Um, these are both from uh, Sincerion, I believe, yeah, Sincerion. And, uh, you know, they're, they're a good family. I'll say that you might want to check the data sheet because the SHT4 series has, um, there is different base um accuracy changes so the shg41 is improved and then the shg45 is even better and a lot of it has to do with um the typical and max um error so the typical is what they're going to advertise will be like oh typical is two percent but the max is kind of what you want to look at because the max is where it's like okay you know your typical is two uh, percent but the max is 4%. Um, so you're like, oh, because these these all look like the same, you know, like what's the difference between all these? And then if you look at the SHT45, which is what I used, hold on. It's gonna be, it's gonna be more expensive. So you're gonna have to scroll down. Like okay. sorted by price. Oh, it's like all the way at the bottom. It's not cheap. It's SHT45. So the SHT45. Um, yeah, you're going to see this one is plus or minus 1% compared to 2% and fairly fast response time. So, you know, four seconds. So you'll see each one here, like this data sheet covers all of them because it's a more recent data sheet. That's cool. They're like, you can get snappy data parts. Um, SHT40, typical and max. SHT41, you see the typical is about the same, but then the max is much lower. And then the SHT43, um, also kind of like similar to the SHT40. And then the SHT45 is where you're gonna get the absolute best performance. Like the typical is 1% and the max is 2%. But what was neat is I was like, oh, well, let's actually sort by accuracy. Cause I was like, well, what's the most accurate? Cause like I, I'm used to SHT45. It turns out there's actually another family of sensors that just came out, I guess, from TI. I've never heard of this. The HDC 30. I mean, it's just, but it's like 2022. But like, they probably weren't available to purchase for like, you know, a year or two. Um, and this is like a really nice uh, sensor with accuracy of plus or minus 5%, very low drift, and the temperature sensor is 0.1 uh, degrees C. So this is actually like, you know, I would, wasn't expecting to find a new interesting sensor. I go off, although of course, you know, the typical versus the max is also not going to be the same. So the typical is 0.5, but the max is two. And then you know, your best typical rate is going to be, um, you know, under 50%. So it's like, it's not that much different than the SHE 45. Also at high um, humidity, it, it's, you know, it starts climbing up to plus or minus 3%. Still, uh, you know, it's also uh, fairly inexpensive, you know, 250 compared to the SHT45. And then it looks like I have some discount pricing I got. I don't know. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so this is my pick. I'm going to actually pick, I'm going to grab some of these S HDC 3020s. Uh, it's good to see a new sensor. I think TI, they had a couple sensors and um, you couldn't get them anymore, the HDC series. And then it like, looks like they came back and they're like, okay, we have a new improved one. Uh, so like I said, this is, you know, 0.5% typicals is great. Uh, I don't see anything better. Um, maybe I'll get a breakout going for this and then we'll also add it to Whippersnapper. All right, that's the great search. That's great search. Where